Hello, Sioux Falls School District community. I'm Jane Stavon, the superintendent, and I'm so glad to be with you here in the Sioux Falls community. Um, I've had a lovely warm welcome and people have been so gracious to um, help me learn about our community as we continue moving forward to the start of school in a few weeks. We know that we have put out so much information and um, there are all kinds of questions that still remain, but as we continue to move forward, I hope that you will um, begin to look to your home school for that information because now is the point where we've given all of this guidance, we've tried to give as much clarification as possible, but now things are really going to start being operationalized at your child's school. And so um, this is going to be a year like we've never had before. We've never navigated the beginning of school amidst a pandemic and the conditions that exist around us. Um, but what we really want to do is continue to put students first and to think about um, the needs of a child and their education. And we're going to do our very best to start school. With that said, we know that conditions may change along the way. It may look different from one school to another. And so that's another reason that we want you to be very well connected with your school and the information that will be coming out from them. We also want you to begin talking with your child about all of the beginning of school year kinds of things. What are you excited about? Do we have our supplies ready to go? Are we thinking about how much fun it's going to be to be with our friends and be involved in our activities? One of the biggest questions that of course has been out there is about the mask. To mask or not to mask? And across our nation, um, this has just turned into a, a really big topic. I want to be clear that what we're thinking about as we start school is relationships and relationships that cover kind of three layers. First of all, we have the layer of our students and the relationship that they have with each other. Then we have a relationship of adults and the relationship that they have with each other. And then we put them together in school and we have the relationship between students and adults. As we think about our choices and all of the preventive measures that we have moving forward, at the heart of all of this is how we treat each other. And we very rarely use the word love, but I want everybody to think about how do we treat each other with love, with kindness and respect as we start back to school. Um, everybody has a, a certain level of anxiety about starting back to school, and I want us to be thinking about all of those relationships that have always made um, school a great place and that we want to continue to have do that. Now we have the context of COVID around that. So be mindful of the people, the choices that affect not only you and your child, but also the choices that affect everybody around us. Our goal is to start school, to have our students return, to have our staff return, and to stay in school. And to do that, we need everybody's best efforts to follow all of those good safety protocols. So I look forward to meeting more of you as the weeks go by, uh, seeing your child and your family um, out and about and at our school functions, um, even though they may be a little bit limited this year in participation and how we are keeping people safe there, we wanna make sure that we are still enjoying school and that we are anticipating the beginning of the school year with all of the uh, hope and joy that that brings every year. So thank you for all of the ways you're partnering partnering with us and I look forward to seeing you all soon.